welcome back to my channel and welcome to obviously the month of hits and misses for February. It's been kind of an intense month. I feel like the last couple of months have been just kind of intense. For those of you who do not know, um, I have been in Tennessee helping take care of my grandmother and she actually passed away about about two weeks ago now. I really appreciate all of the kind, warm words, all of the encouragement, all of the well wishes and everything like that. Thank you guys so much. You've been honestly absolutely wonderful, not just through my grandmother, but through my grandfather and my grandmother. There's a lot of y'all who've been with me for the long run. So there's not a huge amount of stuff that I'm talking about this month. I feel like that's how it was like last month. I do have some reviews that I'm gonna be doing, so maybe Maybe there'll be some more new products in March, but let's just go into February and let's start off with La Musica. It's been kind of an interesting uh, month in music. I've been kind of bit bopping, ding, diddly dinging around a bit. First of which being, um, I don't know, well, if you don't know then, you know now. My mother uh, obviously grew up in the uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and 2000s now. But anyway, when she was probably around my age and a bit younger, she was very big into the folk music and she actually did a lot of she would sing at like coffee shops and dance places and stuff like that and so I grew up with a fair amount of like uh folk something something that kind of stuff music growing up as well as the Beatles because my mother is all about that life but one of the artists that I actually really really love is Judy Collins um uh, I remember one of my favorite songs growing up was the song Marat Assad I'll leave that link down below as well for y'all to have a little bit of a list and it's, it's, the song is a little bit relevant to today's climate as well. But one of my absolute, absolute favorite, favorite song, when I am not gothing and everything and whatever, her song, well, I don't know if it's her song, it's, a, it's the song that she's done, I love her version, is Cold Tattoo, which is just, if I were to ever, which I never will, but if I were to ever be like, all right, it's, right, it's time to go to American Idol or any sort of talent show and whatever such like that, I'd be like, all right, guys, I'm going to go on to American Idol. I'm going to sing Cole Tattoo and I'm going to get laughed at that stage like nobody's business. I just love that song so much. For some reason, ever since I heard it, it's just, I don't know, it just gets me going. Like I'm running around the house and traveling down that coal town road, listening to my rubber tires whine. It's just something that really, really just gets me kind of going all kinds of whatever. So it's either Marilyn Manson or the uh, Cool tattoo, you know? And then another song actually that I had been, just like I said, this month has been kind of just, I don't know, I feel like every month I say the same thing. It's just been kind of, ugh. it's actually a like, it's not a remix, it's one of those things where they're like, let's take these two songs and put them together. And what this person did is they took the song uh, Riot by Three Days Grace and the song Invincible by Skillet and did a really, really, really sick mashup. I love both of those songs. I love both of those groups and this is kind of like the best of both worlds and they really go together. I don't like when the like merging whatever ones and they're like, oh, we're just gonna take like this song and put it to this music. There's actually like, you know, it's cut up, it's done, it's like composed in a way that's really, I don't wanna say flattering. It sounds really good. It's more than just taking one song and putting the lyrics to this song's music. It's been one that I've been listening Listening to just about every time that I go on the treadmill, it's all yeah, yeah, yeah. Real good for that kind of stuff. So yeah, kind of like the two ends of the spectrum. It's like folk music, and then it's like skillet and three days grace. I'm all about variety in my music life. Then to non-makeup music related, I'm like five minutes into this and I'm already having a stroke. That bodes well for all the other videos I have to film after this. But I have two more non-makeup related items. I know I talked about uh, GTH Farms in my last monthly hits and misses. Well, this month we've tried two. Well, I was trying this one. This one is the GTH Farms Delta 8 Russian Diesel, which is a Indica dominant hybrid. My favorite by them is the Gelato. I swear by that shiz. And this one was 
okay. Like, I didn't really notice that it was any better. It didn't really give me, like, a more significant. It just wasn't as enjoyable as I feel as the Gelato or the King Louie, also by these people that I love. This one was one that I tried once before, and I was like, yeah, sure, I liked it. I'll try it again, and I bought it again, and this time around, I'm just, like, not really feeling it. And then one that I tried that I really, really love, also from DHH Farms, is this LOL one right here. This is a THC CBN CBD Dreamy Terpene blend. It's supposed to help you sleep. And let me tell you, this stuff helps you sleep. It is so soothing, so relaxing. It has such a wonderfully aromatic, like, um, vapor to it. Like, the way I would describe it is like a lavender tea cake sort of thing. It's just really, really enjoyable. I sit down, I'm watching some YouTube or whatever, or I'm editing and I want to wind down. I will do this within, uh, depending on how hard I go, hour, 45 minutes, I am ready to sleep. And we're talking like, we're not talking like crazy dream, we're dead sleep. It's a little bit more expensive than the regular ones. These ones are like 45 and this one's like 60, but a little bit goes such a long way and I absolutely absolutely love this shiz. I'm sitting here filming and I was like, why do my hands feel so light? Why aren't they going clicky clack? And I was like, oh, because I forgot to put my rings on. So here we go. Then my last non-makeup related item is actually a book um, for 2021. I am really good. I'm, I'm, I really, really, really want to get back into reading. I don't know if any of y'all know, but I write and I find that when I read, my writing is in then better than when I'm not reading. But I want to start reading a lot more and so I kind of started with like some easy uh, already read books and one of my favorite series and one of my favorite authors is David Eddings. This is his Elenium series and this is the first one, The Diamond Throne. This is probably like my fifth or sixth time rereading this series through. This is the first book which I bought with me, brought with me from Virginia and I didn't expect to make it through it as fast as I did and I didn't bring the second or the third books with me. I'm not entirely, well, I guess I didn't. I was supposed to be like, I'm not entirely sure why I didn't. Because I didn't think I was gonna go through it as quickly as I did. I love his work. I love this series. If you are a fan of just like pure, straight up, just straight to the point fantasy, highly, highly recommend his work. One of my favorite authors is actually Brandon Sanderson. And the way I would describe his writing is it's can you not? It's much more a lyrical in nature, I feel, than David Eddings. He is just like no frills, good writing, straight to the point. Like, it's not like it's not good writing. It's just really, really can you not? It's just something that's really easy to read, really easy to comprehend, really easy to digest and get through. I mean, this book has been around for I don't know how long. I got mine for $2.45. So if you want to get you a really good read, it's just, you just, 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 really enjoyable read. If you want something that's just boom, fantasy, well written, well done, then I would highly, highly recommend David Eddings. And this is just such a good series. It's got great magic concepts. It's got good like adventure and fight scenes. The characters are really well done. It's just a fantastic volume of fantasy. And I'm super excited to reread the second and third one. I'm going to be going to back to Virginia for a DMV appointment and I'm going to be bringing the other two with me. All right, now that y'all have heard about my non-makeup existent, let's get into some mm, burp squad. Some makeup. They're, like I said, there's not a lot this month, but some of them are kind of significant. Let's start off with actually what's on my nails right now, which I love the color. I actually showed my mom my whole look. She's like, it goes together. And I'm like, I'm a symphony in coordination. But the color being beautiful, I hate, hate, despise this formula. This is the KB Shimmer here for the booze, which is appropriate because it's a beautiful Halloween-y orange shade. But this formula is really different than I adore their, uh, their holographic formula. I adore their like flake formula. That's one of my favorites. But this one is just so thick. 
Like, it's really one of those formulas. Like, you'll put down one layer and it'll be fine. You're like, okay, all right, I'd like to be a little bit more opaque than that. And then you go to be a little bit more opaque and it's like, well, I think I'd like to remove the first layer you put down. You're like, no, 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 stop. It just takes a lot of work to get it to look all kinds of nicey nice. And the other polishes they have are just like easy peasy. I will say though, I will say though, like I love the color and KB Shimmer polishes probably have the one of the best nail polish brushes on the market because it's so easy to get into those little like lines right along the sides of your nails. I don't know what it is, but for some reason the brush makes everything really easy to handle. So with a non brush like this, this would be an absolute nightmare. Love the color, love the brush. The formula is just one that's uh, a bit complicated to use. It doesn't set down as quickly. I don't know if you can see, but I've kind of, no, you can't. I kind of fudged this one a little bit. So, you know. I love it. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, I hate the form. Like, I love it. Love the color, love the company. This is just a formula that I probably won't be purchasing. And I have another one from them that's green in this formula that I also don't like the formula of the color. Love the color, but not the formula. The next uh, miss is actually kind of sad. This was sent to me by one of y'all. They sent me a care package of a lot of different things, but it was a fair amount of cosmetics from My Pretty Zombie. And they sent me two nail polishes. And I wore this in my, uh, my first Jeffree Star dissection video. And I was like, I gotta have a black polish. And this is the only one that I had. I am so sorry. Thank you so much for sending this to me, but this formula was awful to work with. It is like tar. It's this thick, gloopy, like, like, like tar. Like I'm doing it on my nails and I'm like, okay, trying to get like a nice thin layer. And it was like, no, no, this is thick with like all capital letters, four C's at the end. And it was just really like lumpy and clumpy and just so stinking thick and unfun to work with. They sent me two shades. I haven't tried the other one yet, but this one just completely missed the mark for me. And maybe, maybe I haven't tried black nail polish in a long time, because typically I go for something, you know, a bit shinier. But while I was using this, and it got everywhere. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, I got it on the bottle. I got it all over my hands. I got it all over the surface I was doing my nails on. This was just not a home run. And I feel so bad because I was like so grateful. It's like, oh, bless you. And the packaging is adorable. And I love the blush that she gave me. I haven't tried the eyeshadows yet, but this just wasn't it formula wise. Not fun at all. All right. Hey, now let's talk about some ColourPop, that company that I love and loathe so much. And right here, I have the reason why I love them. Another thing sent to me by a subscriber, thank you so freaking much. They sent me these two blushes here. This was from like their Poppy collection. I anti-hold that shiz. And actually I received these in the mail because they were sent to my family's address in Virginia. And so then they had the mail sent here to Tennessee and these were in there. And I got them like right before I put up my anti-haul where I anti-hauled them. But these are so nice. Obviously I love a good orangey peachy sunburnt blush situation. I've used both of these. This one here is out of sight and this one is foxy right here. They've both got like just a hint of shimmer, just enough to make it nice and illuminating. Back when ColourPop like was just back when before they were crazy with all their releases. Back when they just had like their single nondescript pressed powder blushes where you'd buy them and you'd buy the compact. I think I decluttered all of mine of those, but their new, like their collection blushes and their collaboration blushes are really, really good for some reason. And these are no exception. I absolutely love these so freaking much. I love, I actually, it's so funny cause like the compact is like fairly, oversized, I would think. But I actually really, really dig the componentry. I've used them together. I've used them on their own. These two colors together are actually really good for blush draping if you're into that shiz. And it was just so nice 
of them to send it to me. Anytime any of y'all send me any kind of something something, it like touches my soul deep inside. And these ended up being such an absolute hit. Absolutely adore them. And then if we're talking about the poppy blushes, we, we might as well talk about, oh, the, yeah, I did a boo-boo. I think they were, ColourPop was having like a 35% off sale and so I went in and you go in to get the one thing and then the one thing isn't enough for free shipping and then you go through and you're like ah, it's only like eight dollars okay and I actually bought the the big poppy palette as well as the little ray of sunshine I have anti-haul both of these I am actually wearing the big poppy on my eyes today and I absolutely love this shiz both of these are all matte palettes which you all know I am into we've got this really great straight up orange one and then we've got this kind of yellowy daffodil sunflowery situation I mean both of these together are just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, y'all know these are my neutral colors. And I'm honestly really stinking pleased with the formula of these because I have found that the more palettes ColourPop has released, the less consistent their quality is. I've tried a couple ones that are probably probably gonna get decluttered when I come back to Virginia, but these for sale, I would have purchased these for the quality that I got after using them. I would have totally been fine if I'd paid full price for them, but getting them on a discount is, you know, a little bit of a nice thing. I love, I mean, I just don't love them, I and this one's kind of, I mean, come on, you know how I feel about that shiz. Kind of same with this one, though I don't think it's quite as bad, but y'all know your girl is not a fan of soft, pasty, pasty setting shades just not my thing. But I do love both of these. They're a nice little, just like a little, little color pop pick me up in the stressful month. And I'm really happy that they've turned out really well. And y'all know your girl loves the all matte palette situation. And it's nice to see something that's actually good from ColourPop because I mean, they got so much stuff coming out, so much stuff coming out. And I think these are actually just really nice palettes. I anti-hauled them because, I mean, they were probably just things that I didn't need and I probably didn't need it now, but I have them, I used them, and they're really, really good. All right, more ColourPop. Um, <laughs> this has kind of been the month of ColourPop, I suppose. We have in my hot little uh, Sailor Moon loving hands are actually the two blushes from the collection. I know that I bought one of them while I was in Virginia, and then I got another one of them while I was here. This one here is in Cat's Eye, which is the shimmy shiny one. It's got a cute little Luna. Then this one here is From the Moon, which is actually the blush I was wearing in also my first Dissecting Jeffree Star video, and I think it turned out really nice. I mean, it's kind of like a second verse, same as the first. They're blush formulas for their collections now is just really well done. I adore both of these. I mean, yeah, they're Sailor Moon and they're all kinds of whatever, but you know, your girl really appreciates something well formulated. And these really are, and they go together really nicely. Probably my favorite way of wearing them is I'll start out with this matte one and then I'll go on in and do this one kind of all up on the edges there to soften it up, make it look more glowy, a little bit more. I don't know. A little bit more something something. I just think these are really nice. I'm kind of just kind of, I don't want to say addicted because that's always, I'm addicted. I really enjoy the ColourPop blush formula. There has not been, since purchasing the newer collection ones, any of those, there has not been one of these that I haven't really loved. So I'm not sure what they did, what they're doing, but I'm definitely okay with it. These are just really, Really, really nice. Y'all know I love the Mulan ones. Those are two of my absolute favorite neutrally blushes. They're so beautiful, so well formulated. And these are cute and beautiful and Sailor Moon, but they are also well formulated as well. All right, let's talk about a skincare, kind of like a, it's like halfway between a hit and a miss, like it's not awful, it didn't make my skin fall off, but after using it for a more extended period of time, it's not something that I would repurchase. And that is the Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. I'm pretty sure this is Huda Beauty's 
skincare brand. I bought this because you all know your girl loves a good exfoliator. You all know that one of your girl's absolute end all be all exfoliators is the IOP Pro Peeling Gel. So I was like, this looks really freaking similar. I read a bunch of the reviews and it is very similar. However, as I was using this, I noticed that like my texture around this area here and like here, this area especially was just kind of a bit drier, a bit less uh, healthy and luminous than it used to be. And so I was like, the one thing I changed in my routine was this. I don't know if you all know, but if you don't know, you know now. When it comes to trying a new makeup product, I like to do it one at a time. Like I'll be like, okay, we'll try a new exfoliant, but I'm not gonna try a new exfoliant while I'm trying a new cleanser or I'm trying a new moisturizer, just the one new thing so that I can pinpoint and be like, that's what's not working. And so I went and I looked, I just noticed it was making me really dry and I went and I looked at the ingredients and it has alcohol in it. Now I'm pretty sure that the alcohol helps with that whole like peeling sensation. This is one of the things where it like pills up and balls up and it feels like you're sloughing away all the dead skin. The pilling up and the balling up isn't the dead skin. It's just kind of a, I'm not even sure. The um, IOP one, IOPE one does, but it doesn't have alcohol in it. And so like this one, it works. It does a good job of exfoliating. I'm not sure how much I would recommend this to someone with dry skin. I have normal to dry skin and it definitely did dry out this area here, which is one of my worst areas. And so while it did the job while I had it and I've been using it and I'll probably continue to use it until it's used up or I might just like target it in other areas and not use it here. It's not something that I would repurchase because it does have alcohol in it. Alcohol is very stripping. It's very drying. Uh, this may be more suited to someone with uh, normal to oily skin. But for me and all of my dryness and all of that shiz, I just, I just, I noticed that my face just didn't feel as fresh, as supple, as, as hydrated. And lo and behold, the shiz got alcohol. So it's okay, I'm using it, but and it, it, it's not getting repurchased ever. Then we'll end on a positive note from ColourPop again. And this is kind of a surprising one. I love it when I get products just to like have them and then they end up being like amazing. These are the two lip glosses from the ColourPop and uh, Raw Beauty Christie collection. This one is in Wildflower and this one is in Glacier. Glacier is more of like a typical shimmy shiny champagne-y white gold situation and this one here is a like a hint of a peachy nude with a little bit of shimmer. Love both of these, love the colors, love the formulation. I actually used this one over top a green lipstick that I had because wearing really dark lipsticks make my lips look really small. And so I needed something to plump that shiz up. And these are just really nice formulas. I like the nice hefty doe foot applicator. They smell amazing. They're not like and gnarly and like just disgusting. They have a really nice texture to them that doesn't, you know, creep all up in here and here and here. They stay where you put them, which is really nice. And I was tempted to buy like some other colors of these because I like the formula, but I was like, you need to stop. You have the two, you have lip glosses, you don't use, don't do it. And I didn't do it, so I'm just gonna be happy with these two, but I think I would enjoy the formula of other ones as well. If you do, definitely let me know down below. All right, but that is the February monthly hits and misses. Would love to hear about what you think about the products I talked about in this video. Would love to hear what you all have been loving or not loving last month. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mm -hmm.